this is the first video of series of videos where we will be seeing the business application studio in BTP which is a new stuff SAP has launched uh, replacing the web IDE uh, in this series of videos we will be seeing how to subscribe to business application studio from marketplace then uh, installing the cloud connector what exactly is the cloud connector why we need to use it where we need to use it and uh, how to configure it how to install it and then in the last we will be creating a fiori application using business application studio where the backend system would be our about trial system which uh, we have installed on Linux SUSE in the virtual box so let's start first by downloading the required stuff to configure and install the cloud connector so very first thing we need to go to tools.hana.ondemand.com and then click on the cloud option here in this we this is the place where all of the tools you will be available to download whether it is for mobile or hana cloud integration bw abap everything is available on this website tools.hana.ondemand.com so for cloud connector uh, we'll be clicking on this cloud option and then uh, control f and search for cloud connector so this is the option this is the cloud connector section which is available and uh, i'm using a windows machine so i will be downloading this option here the msi file if you want you can also download the zip file but probably the MSI is a better option it's a direct installation so one is this thing and then we will also need Java virtual machine or SAP JVM uh, so this is SAP JVM and uh, still we are using Windows machine so just download this zip file on your local machine Okay, so these are the two main things which we need to install and configure the cloud connector. For time saving purpose, I have already downloaded these two things. So JVM is there and uh, cloud connector is also available here. Okay, so very first thing is what we will do is we will target the JVM and then this is this is the file you will see how it is getting downloaded. This is the zip file and once you unzip it you will get this folder this folder is having all of the required libraries and everything okay so what we need to do is we need to copy and paste this folder to our java location okay so this is very important step uh, i have copied this and then my java or maybe yours as well you will find on c colon slash program file and then java so double click on this and just like jdk and jra is already there the folders we just need to paste the administration permission to copy to this folder okay so we are copying this okay now our jvm has been copied so this one step is done now the next step is to install our uh, cloud connector and cloud connector so this is our msi file which we have downloaded okay double click on this file and it is just next let it be default where it is going to install okay so this is one of the important thing where the 
port number for the cloud connector is mentioned it is 8443 it is a default one so let's keep it like this only and click on next now this is very important so this is showing our c colon program file java path with jdk but here we would need not the jdk but the jvm okay so we will select this path and click on ok this is a very important step to get the cloud connector installed properly and work correctly okay so we select the jvm click on next and uh, start the cloud connector after finishing the setup yes click on next and now it will install the cloud connector and uh, meanwhile it installing let's see uh, the cloud connector what are all other things we need to keep in mind okay so these are all the things read prerequisite okay let's see how it is going here okay click on yes and it's still installing so cloud connector is successfully installed now click on close now your cloud connector is already running the service will already be running let's try to open this http colon double slash localhost and 8443 was the port number when we were installing it right so this combination of host and port requires lts what is this lts okay so we need to put HTTPS here and then uh, if there is any message then just click on the continue or accept and continue okay so this is our cloud connector when we installed it this is the default page uh, it gets created and the default ID and password for the cloud connector is always a D M I N I S T R A T O R administrator and M A N A G E all in small letters. So administrator and manage is the password. Click on login. I would say never save. Okay, now it is we are in. We are able to log in. It means cloud connector is properly installed on our machine. So it is mandatory to change the password so our current password is manage and i'm changing my password okay and click on save let's keep the default values click on save and it is logging in okay so now the cloud connector is working on our machine now the the next thing which we need to do is we need to configure the cloud connector in order to connect our on-premise system or say a back trial system which is running on the local machine in virtual box we need to configure it and uh, in order to connect it to business application studio so our main goal is to connect our local system sap system to business application studio and since the business application studio is on the cloud our system is on the local machine or say on premise we can say there must be some linkage or handshaking between these two the cloud and the local machine and 
this is what the work of the cloud connector or this this is the role of cloud connector to connect the cloud system with the on-premise system okay so now these are all the things which we would need and for all these things we need to get to our uh, business application studio and uh, this configuration we will see in our next video so thanks for watching if you like the content please subscribe leave the comment if you have one or if you want to share anything suggest anything comments are welcome thank you